How many people in here own both Ableton and FL Studio? I don't know if I'm the only one, but I have both because they're both good software. This is more for people who are heavier Ableton users, but occasionally like to dabble in FL for some of the stuff like the channel rack or something like that. Check this out. Say you have Ableton and you also have FL Studio. If you do a search in Ableton for FL Studio, there's going to be something that comes up called FL Studio VSTi. When you click it, watch what it does. I just clicked it. This little window will pop up. So once you click this icon, FL Studio will also open up. Okay, so now we have Ableton and we have FL Studio open. I can work on something in FL and I'll be able to mix it or also add effects to it or anything in Ableton. Well, let's do a quick drum pattern. Okay, so I made a quick pattern in FL. Now when I go to Ableton, if I hit play, I have access to the FL session right here in Ableton. You can record that too. So if I make a new audio track, I can set this to resampling and it will record everything I just did in FL. That's a good way if you're an Ableton user and you want some of your workflow to stay in FL. This is a good way to accomplish that. So anything I do in FL, if I hit play here, it'll play in Ableton. I can record it. I can do any of that. That is one workflow tip that I find really helpful to use both Ableton and FL. So that's one way to do it. You can record from FL into Ableton. It's like a rewire type of thing. Another way, if I'm just doing a drum pattern or something like that, I'll just do it in FL mix it down, bring it into Ableton. I just find it to be quicker, but that is one way you can accomplish that workflow. Yep, that works in Ableton 10 also. And I think Ableton 9 or whatever, because it loads it as a VST. John Paolo, I think you can route individual channels too. Yes, you can, you can do that. 